Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. We are out here, it is April 10th here in Michigan, and maple syrup season is over, believe it or not. This is, uh, I think, the earliest that we have ever ended our season, and uh, the earliest that we've also ever started our season. <laughs> so everything just kind of shifted forward, and unfortunately, this has also been one of the lowest producing seasons that we have had. I'll tell you why in just a few minutes, but first, a couple tips and tricks on how and when we close down our maple syrup season. It's not super complicated uh, because we have a small operation here, but as things grow at this new homestead, I plan to continue on with the process that I have put in place. So we have decided to use almost completely the sap sack holders, the bag holders as far as collection goes, versus buckets, which is what we used to do. Uh, we used to use five gallon buckets or four gallon buckets, frosting buckets. Buckets. There, it takes a ton of storage and cleanup and time. Uh, you need to dedicate a ton of space to storing those buckets. Usually they're mismatched sizes and shapes and lids and all that kind of stuff. And, it, and I had a whole loft at our old pole barn that was dedicated just to storing buckets and spiles and tubing and all that stuff. With the sap sacks, they stack really easily. And so you can see there, I just have like half of a shelf that I store all of ours on. And even if we you know, quadruple our setup here uh, as the years go by, just using that one whole shelf for, for uh, maple syrup stuff, it's, it's much easier, a lot less storage. And uh, the, the bags, you can reuse, but as you can see, some of them do get damaged and we end up getting pinholes in some of them. We had a few wind storms, we had tree branches hit some. Uh, we had some that blew off or ripped because they were full and they, they hit against the trees. I didn't really get out and empty them quick enough. The bags I will generally just recycle. Uh, very, very seldom have I saved them and reused them the next year. Another trick is this is the time of year when you should start thinking about next year. So if you want to uh, increase your, your production and collect more sap, you're going to need more bag holders, you're going to need more spiles, you're going to need more bags. Uh, this is the time to buy that stuff. April and May, you'll see a lot of the farm stores, even online stores, they're going to have sales, they're going to be trying to clear out inventory for the year. And so look around for that stuff. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to a couple of the sites that I have used. Uh, Leader Evaporator is one of them, and uh, tapmytrees.com, I believe, was another one. Uh, and then also just your local stores, Family Farm and Home, TSC, uh, and even Walmart and other stores like that I have seen in certain areas and locations have these kinds of supplies. So look around for that stuff. Get it now so that you're ready on a moment's notice when your next season starts. So how do you know when it is the end of the season? Well, you'll know because the sap will stop running as is one of the main reasons, but we usually end a little bit earlier than that. When the temperatures start getting up into the 40s and 50s on a regular basis during the day, the sap spoils really quickly and I just don't have enough time to collect it and store it and, uh, and boil usually, and then end up with a really dark, um, not really great flavored syrup. The last couple weeks, usually the last week or two of the season, you're not gonna get the best stuff and mainly because it spoils quick. As soon as it starts to get cloudy, you you really don't wanna boil it. Um, now, if you have a few bags that are a little bit cloudy and you've got a lot of fresh sap, you could mix in some of that sap, but again, it is gonna give your syrup a little bit of an off flavor. Also, this is the time of year when we have tons of bugs. So a lot of those sap sacks are filled with ants and moths and bugs because they, they like the sweet you know sap. And so they're gonna get in there and they're gonna just make a mess of everything. And so this is the time of year, once the temperatures start getting warm on a regular basis in the 40s uh, or even 50s, it's, it, the season is, is just over. Uh, and so you can watch your production. Once it starts to slow down at the end of the season, it's time to pull the taps. Uh, even if you're still getting a little bit of a run, it's not worth it to go through all the mess of boiling and, and collecting and all that stuff. All of what I am saying is leading up to this. The reason that we did not have a great season this year is because we missed it. We missed the beginning of the season. Here in Michigan, we had a, an unprecedented, as far as my lifetime anyway, early syrup season. At the end of January, we could have tapped. We barely had a winter here. We barely had any deep freezes. And as soon as that happened in January, it was like a couple weeks of really cold weather, I should have been ready to jump out and, and get trees tapped. I missed a good two, even maybe three weeks of our season this year because I wasn't prepared and I wasn't expecting it to be that early. And so again, getting your supplies on the shelf, on hand, having everything organized and cleaned and ready to roll at the end of the season so that you're ready for next season. I'm gonna go out and buy all my bags and extra taps and extra sap sack holders and all that stuff. I'm gonna do that now, have it all ready. Uh, and, and then next year, I'm not gonna miss. That first week 
of sap is the absolute best syrup you're going to get. It's the lightest. It's the it's the best flavor. It's the the highest sugar content. It's the absolute best. We totally missed it this year. So unfortunately, we didn't barely even. Uh, I don't think we broke two gallons of, of finished syrup. Maybe right around two gallons. And so it was pretty pretty small season. I'd love to hear from you guys. What are your tips and tricks? What uh, for you veterans out there? What do you do at the end of the season to kind of clean up, put things away, and get ready for next year? Uh, share that stuff down below. This community of uh, of maple syrup or, or sappers out there is uh, is really handy, and and there's some there's some great information and great experience and great tips and tricks out there. So share those in the comments and read through those if you're uh, if you're looking for answers because uh, hopefully you'll find something. I have a whole entire playlist of maple syrup stuff. There's there's a ton of videos in there, from the farm videos that we did where I had to collect syrup on from on kayaks, to uh, to the new house here and some gravity tubing setups I've tried and different collection styles and different evaporator builds and all that stuff. So check out that playlist. I will I will comment with a link to that and I will put a link in the description of the of this video so you can check those videos out. There's tons of information there. So let me know what you guys think. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.